hello YouTube welcome to today's video it's good to see you all again and I hope that you're all doing well in the current situation so today I'm going to talk through this self portrait I took of me at the poker table if you like today's video it'd be very much appreciated if you could give us a thumbs up and also if you could subscribe to the channel so you can see future content from me so to set this portrait up at home I made a temporary studio in the spare bedroom as you can see it's fairly cramped so it just goes to show that you don't need much space really to try something creative like this and you could try this yourself quite easily lighting wise I used a simple free light setup I had one light here which I used as my key light I have a flash box at the back of the room which you can't see which is behind the camera in a big square soft box which I used as a fill light and behind me I also used another flash head just to give the background a bit of light just to um, st make me stand out from the background so I always start by setting up my key light first so here I've got the key light is a 400 watt flash head. I've got an octagon softbox on there with a grid. The grid just stops the light spilling around the room and just helps me control that light better onto me. So to set the light up, I use this, which is a light meter. They're very easy to set up. So basically, once I turn this on, I have a, a few different numbers on the front. So the important ones are which you set yourself is you can tell it what shutter speed you're using your camera at in this case for me this is um, 200th of a second and what ISO you're working at so I'm going to set the camera to ISO 100 so once you've got your camera settings here you can then take a reading on this and this will tell you what f-stop you need on your camera to expose right so let's see what that is Okay, so I've fed the flash, I've used my light meter, and what I can see on here is I've got an F reading of 4 come up. So to be perfectly exposed, what I would need to do is set my camera to an F number of 4. However, if you want to control your depth of field, which in this case I do, you can um, actually change the power of your light so you can work at a different F number. In this case, I want to work at an F number of 8 to give me a bit more depth of field. So what I'll do is I'll then turn the power of the key light up take another reading until I get that number to match so the next light I'm going to set up is my fill light so I use my fill light to give some detail into the shadows I don't want that light as bright as my key light otherwise everything's going to look a bit flat so for my fill light I've got another light at the back of the room it's another 400 watt flash head I've got that in a large square soft box which gives me a nice soft light so to set up my fill light initially what I will do is I will use my meter again and I'll get that so it's reading it an F number that's half the value of my key night however because that's a creative choice and I want to get the look I want to do what I'll then do is I'll have a look at the back of the camera and then just adjust that flash accordingly so everything looks how I want it to look and in this case on this photo I think I ended up reducing that quite a lot so the third light I set up is the light for the background so this light just gives a bit of light behind me on the background allows me to stand out from that background as well so I don't just have a big flat black background behind me just helps give a bit of depth to the image if I turn that on I think you can see when the modeling light comes on you see there's just a bit of light around me so I set that by eye so I'll fire a couple of test shots up have a look at the back of the camera and I just get that to the strength of that light is how I like it in this case the, the light was on the lowest setting for these portraits so to make the flashes fire I have a wireless transmitter and receivers are plugged in the back of each of the lights so when I activate my camera this causes all the lights to flash okay so we're ready to go but there was one other bit of equipment that I did use now this was a father's day gift that I got for this year I've got it early so it's a smoke machine so these are quite cheap to buy and they're great because they just add a bit of atmosphere into the photo and just makes that photo have a bit of extra oomph really so before I start taking the pics I just took the setup really quite quickly so it's dead cheap I've got uh, Chester jaws here which I've just draped a green polka cloth on and some chips and, and they just came in a set I got dirt cheap from Amazon purely just for taking photos with um, also I'll put a few props on the table depending on the character that I'll dress up as at this side so for the cowboy character the glass which I put some whiskey in put some plastic ice cubes in that as well so they 
they wouldn't melt while I was taking the photographs. I also got a pocket knife because I thought it'd be a bit of a dodgy character and put that on the table. And you just try a few different poses and see what kind of photos you come up with. Also, while you've got this set up, you might as well dress up as a few different characters and then you could have a whole host of different characters that were sat around the poker table. So when you do the different characters, the only thing to remember is just change the position of the chips and that around the table, maybe put a couple of different props on just to give a, a bit of an individual photo for those characters. Okay, so that's today's video and that's how I set up this portrait. I did set up a few other portraits and did a few other characters as well. So I'll put all those photos on at the end. But if you've enjoyed today's video, please do give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. So thank you.